So we're starting the next morning. The concrete uh, foundation is there, and the tradition is the erection of the uprights, the pillars, posts, supports, is the point when Thai people will have a small ceremony. And I've seen it done sometimes when people have the base foundation poured or framework poured and they put things in the bottom of the hole. Um, this one's a little bit different um, because of the way the foundation and everything is, but it's going to be prior to the erection of the first supports. So we have the workman here, workman's wife, the work, um, Papa Bart chap standing over there the other side of the lady in yellow is married to this lady in the yellow shirt and they are relatives and live down one house from the home in Long Nok Ta. So he's organized the build, he was asked to organize it and he brought in his team but these other guys are actually quite well known to the, my wife. So I'm not sure where Mem is at the moment. She's off organising something. I think she might have been over in the Dok Bua patch, seeing if we had some flowers to add to this. So the men are organising their scaffold and their framework and their things, and they're adding some bananas. Bananas are sort of revered. They turn up everywhere, the banana plants or leaves. And the bar has gone off looking for something. What's he looking for? I don't know, but he's gone way off into the line and walking along with a chopper in his hand. We'll find out later, I'm sure. It's a beautiful day. Look at the colour of that sky. Isn't that wonderful? Mango trees, full of fruit at the moment. Baby, only about, about an inch in size. Um, they flowered, you can still see some of the flowering mass on the tree, but uh, they're chock-a-block with tiny mangoes at the moment, so um, they'll be growing over the month, next month or so. So now we're erecting, and it has everything on top, and I think it's symbolic, it's tradition. And it is going up. We have a garland of flowers and we have some leaves and a banana plant. The man is about to put a couple of tacks on the bottom here to hold this. Go what? Oh. <laughs> So we're having two columns get up.
พูดบีดเนี่ยจะจะช่วยจะเปิดร้านอาหารด้วยฮะอืมเขาฝันบ้านเนี่ยฝันในฝันบ้านแอมเป็นคูกเนี่ยไฟเหลี่ยมยางเนี่ยนั่นโอ้ว่าบ้านเราเฉลิมเฉลิมมาเอ้าบ้านใส่หนีแฮมตัวเนี้ยว่ะไม่ใช่บ้านนะโอ้ดีเมตเจ้าได้หนึ่งหลวดดังจับที่ฮะบ้านที่เมตเจ้าบ้านที่เมตเจ้าแล้วดังเมตเจ้าเนื้อเหรอข้าเดียวSo guys, a few hours later, we had the erecting of the two post ceremony, and then we all had a little party to celebrate. <laughs> the guys had a little bit of whiskey, <laughs> but not much. <laughs> That's part of the deal. And I've been off cutting. There's always cutting, you know that, guys. And this is where we're at at the moment. It looks like. We have all of the uprights standing. I don't know that they're fully welded or anything yet. They're probably still string lining it and checking it as they go, or well, they commit to the final welds. I'm sure. So, if you see something that doesn't look quite vertical or whatever, they're probably still working on it, or it needs adjustment. But um, all good. The project's coming along, and you're still guessing what it is. Anybody got any comments? <laughs> Let's see if we can have a, a, a bit of a, a guessing game here. How about putting down in the column, in, get my English right, in the comments, what you think it's going to be? There's many possibilities. Could be another little house. It could be a big garage. Could be a workshop. Could be a restaurant. Could be a resort. It could be quite a few things, couldn't it? It could be a shop for selling flowers. It could be. That's the final word. It could be. So see what you think it is and whack it in the co comments. A little bit later in the day, and as you've just seen, all the poster up. That was a few hours ago. We're now putting up some of the, how would you say, the horizontals. So the upper ones, which will form the base for the roof to go on. Um, but that allows them to true up the posts and get all their verticals right and get it all squared. So it's actually turned out it's going to be quite tall. Um, we were talking about the height of it before we started. This is not a paperwork plan. They may have one, but I never gave one. It was all chat and arm movements and hand signals. And um, we're talking about the uprights and we're talking about 500 in the ground and blah, blah, blah. Well, that's a different kind of footing that they actually use, so that's not relevant. And talking I wanted a, a reasonable height sort of um, roof so they spoke about two and a half met and I spoke about three and then they jokingly said three and a half met um, I think we're at three <laughs> or maybe even three and a half I'd have to put a measure on it it's over three and for what this is going to actually be it's going to be quite impressive so Stay with us. We're moving along. You can see that there is a horizontal on that far wall, and there's a horizontal on this wall. There's not one on the center as yet. And the center peak is going to be the highest place, so we're going to have quite a peak roof on this. I'm quite impressed it's going to be something more than we started, but we've been down that track before with, uh, with a small house, if you'd like to look at that series of um, of builds, how that progressed. But anyway, we're moving right along, measuring up some more steel, getting ready for another element to go on. So now the front beam 
is going up. They've done a lot of cutting and preparing of material. And so it's been an hour or so since we last video you saw. <laughs> I'm a little bit blown away of how big it's going to turn out, but that's all good. Yeah, it's going to be impressive. Well, it's beer o'clock, but Papa Bart is up on the top there. And another man is heading up on this end. They've got the long top beam for the peak of the roof. And they want to put that up before they finish. Maybe it's the crowning glory. Maybe they're so close they, they want that one on. Maybe it's an achievement level for them. Well, good on them. It is beer o'clock and I'm ready to give them drinks and uh, let them relax. But uh, they're not quite ready for that yet. Or well, they probably are, but they've set themselves a task now and they want to do it. <laughs> I know the feeling. So, yeah, they are. they've got their scaffolds up on double level. And wooden planks that they stole from the floor of the old farmhouse pressed back into service on this task. So, yeah, moving right along. It's been a very, very fruitful day because this means that they've got all of the superstructure up. It really only does leave um, the rafters. But we've got a lot of more steel down there, so I, I'm not sure what other elements they're going to put in as yet, so I'll wait and see. You think I should know all this? Nah. They've worked it out. It's in family. The boss is uh, giving guidance as we go along, and I'm quite happy with what's been built so far. At the end of the day, it needs to come out looking like the vision Talony has in her mind. That's the whole point of it. So, moving along, and we'll get to the next stage shortly. Beer o'clock, guys. Everybody's... <laughs> Good time, happy. We have the Bacardi, and we have the beer, and we have the Hong Tong, and we have some Som Tam. And some chocolate. <laughs> Pulverized beef mixed with oh, chili and spices and stuff. I'm not into beef, but these guys are. 